Hello and a very warm welcome to our YouTube channel Corrosion Control and Inspections. We will be sharing informative videos on various corrosion and its preventive measures, non-destructive as well as destructive inspections, welding, metallurgy, coating selections and paintings as well as asset integrity assessments related topics. Your valuable feedback will be important for us. Do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Press bell icon to keep yourself notified about upcoming videos. In this video we will discuss what is American Petroleum Institute Certification API 653. What is covered under API Code 653. What is the prerequisite required for taking API 653 exam? How to prioritize and plan the studying schedule for the exam? What is the course structure for the API 653 exam? What is the main content to consider for passing API 653 exam? What is the defined course structure for attaining API 653 exam? What is the probable scoring area and expected number of questions in the API 653 exam? API 653 standard provides the minimum requirements for maintaining the integrity of welded or riveted, non-refrigerated and refrigerated, atmospheric pressure, above ground storage tanks after they have been placed into service. It only applies to maintaining the integrity of the foundation, bottom, shell, structure, roof, attached appurtenances and nozzles to the face of the first flange, first threaded joint or first welding end connection of the tank. API 653 certification is valid for a three-year term and is accredited by the American National Standards Institute, ANSI. This accreditation ensures that the exam has been developed to the highest standard for openness and integrity and meets the rigorous requirements established under the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, 17024. API welcomes highly specialized inspectors, inspection and design engineers, corrosion engineers, chemical as well as process engineers. It also involves other professionals across the entire petrochemical industry to obtain the API 653 above ground storage tank inspector certification as a validation of their profound knowledge of various tank related inspections. All questions are multiple choice. Paper and reference materials are not allowed into exams. The exam consists of multiple choice questions. API 653 exam is 7.5 hours long. There are 170 questions, of which only 140 are scored. The remaining 30 are pre-test, which are not scored. There are 110 closed book questions and 60 open book questions in the API 653 exam. The cost of the exam is $730 for API members and $940 for non-members. API 653 Tank Inspection, Repair, Alteration, and Reconstruction is a standard developed and published by the American Petroleum Institute, API. This code covers the inspection, repair, alteration, and reconstruction of steel above ground storage tanks used in the petroleum and chemical industries. API 653 was originally published in January of 1991, and the most recent fifth edition was released in November of 2014. API 653 certification is valid for a three-year term and is accredited by the American National Standards Institute, ANSI. This accreditation ensures that the exam has been developed to the highest standard for openness and integrity and meets the rigorous requirements established under the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, 17024.
corrosion calculations, minimum thickness determination and remaining life calculations, inspection and degradation mechanisms of API 575, cathodic protection and internal coatings for storage tanks as well as safety and preparation issues on tank floors for repair are main contents of API 653 certification exam. Damage mechanisms from API 571 are also a part of the exam. Damage mechanisms may cause the failure of process equipment resulting in loss of containment or impaired operability of equipment. They may cause damage to equipment that contains hazardous materials, such as tanks and reactors, or through which hazardous materials flow, such as piping, valves and pumps. Damage mechanisms also may affect equipment in utilities and support systems whose failure may impact on a result in a process safety incident. Almost half of the API 653 exam comes from the main code book itself. So the priority of the exam should be based on studying the main book itself. It goes as for every hour spent on studying on other codes should be considered as studying for two hours on API 653. That's how the concept should go on. There will be 80 to 85 questions directly from the API 653 main code book. API 653 has about 150 pages to study, which means one questions out of two pages, on average. The remaining 85 to 90 questions will come from almost 2000 pages, meaning one question per 18 pages. You should follow major on the majors, and minor on the minors. The level of course coverage of subjects directly depends on the average number of questions you should expect in the exam. The requirements set forth in API 653 are meant to cover those steel storage tanks that were constructed under the standards of API 650 and its predecessor API 12C. If there are any conflicts found between the standard and those, API 653 is to take precedence. While it was specifically written to apply to those tanks constructed under API 650 and API 12C, API 653 can, at the owner's discretion, be applied to tanks constructed under other standards as well. The API 653 above ground storage tank inspector must have a broad knowledge base relating to tank inspection and repair of above ground storage tanks, and will satisfy the minimum qualifications specified in API standard 653, tank inspection, repair, alteration, and reconstruction. The exam consists of open book and closed book questions. For closed book exam questions, inspector is expected to know without referring to the codes which includes definitive and quantitative questions like awareness level and practical experience based questions. To answer open book questions, one should be able to find the specific code and tabbing of code pages highlighting the paragraphs as well as additional self-preparatory or self-explanatory notes are equally useful and saves time. You should also be well trained in navigating through PDF version, as this is the medium of working in the exam and word search option shall not be available in the exam. Thanks for visiting our channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment.